As an extremely independent woman that loves to make her own money, I still think men should pay on the first date and this is why. This is just my opinion and you do not have to agree with it. And I'm not talking about long-term because I think long-term it is necessary for both parties to participate in order to create a healthy, long-lasting relationship, which is what me and my boyfriend do. But for me, if I'm going on a date with you, I'm getting an idea of who you are as a person to potentially see you as long-term potential or a long-term partner. And as a female, no matter how independent or like boss lady you are, you want this feeling of protection and security. It is this instinctual thing within our heart and being. So when someone wants me to pay for it or split it on that first date, it immediately gives me this sense that I, I can't let my walls all the way down. And that might not resonate with someone, but as someone that constantly has to operate a lot from my masculine energy, I want to be with someone that can allow my feminine energy to come out. When is it time for the woman to pay? How many days should a man take you on before the woman offers to never? <laughs> okay, because that's not my currency. Men and women have two very different currencies. You build a house, I'll make it a home. And that's why I don't pay for dates. The number one issue that I have with this is that most often women are trying to pay for the date to prove to the man that they're not a gold digger. And that's the difference between me and you, baby, because I'm not ashamed. You knew I was a gold digger when you met me. You heard the conversations that we had. You saw me grind. You see me get up in there every day and work my tail off. You saw me build a business. Who should pay on the first date has been a debate that never seems to die, especially in 2024. A lot of women are okay with splitting the bee on the first date. Should a man even allow a woman to pay on the first date? Now, the question is who should pay? Have you ever went to like a date that the guy wanted to split the bill or you paid? I paid for too much dates. That's wild. and big bills like three hundred dollars, four hundred bucks. Yeah. What the fuck? I mean, yeah. that's I'm losing my masculine yeah. engagement as she's saying that. Like, yeah. What the fuck for these guys? And <laughs> I always do that. Oh, I'm gonna pay. They won't like fight with me for like who's gonna pay on the first date. On the They're first date. They're just gonna date. say okay. They're just, like, They're okay, just yeah. gonna be like, ah, oh, thank you so much. <gasps> and I'll be like, you're welcome, what? but never again. What? You know. Guys, if a girl says to you she go halves on a bill and you say yes. You are making a big mistake. That girl's only doing that to test to see whether or not you can provide for her and see financially if you're in a position where you can be taking her out on dates and treating her nicely. And you're giving her the wrong answer. She's going to be off to the next guy. Like, guys, stay woke. Like, honestly, girls do these tests to see whether or not I can take this guy seriously enough. And if you're one of those guys that says yes and you think she's going to stay, <laughs> you are having an absolute laugh. I don't care what anybody says but a guy should always be paying for dates i already know the men are gonna come in my comments crying and screaming i don't care if you are okay with splitting the bill if you're okay with taking turns paying if you're okay with being the one that's paying for most of the things fine that's on you girl but me uh-uh there are men out there who are literally paying for full-blown vacations for women flying them out paying for every single thing they could ever want and you're gonna let a man make you split on a first date? Some men are providers and some men aren't. Some men wanna give you the world and that aspect and some men wanna do 50-50 and that's fine. That's not what I want. I'm sorry, but if I'm having your baby, if I'm giving birth to a whole ass human and going through everything that I have to do for that, I am not doing 50-50. It is not a crazy ass bitch. There are so many men out there who do it, trust me. What to do if he's a really nice guy but expects you to pay 50-50? Personally, to me, that seems very fucking reasonable. I am not looking for someone to take care of me. I don't equate that someone paying for me means that they care about me and they love me. I am a grown ass woman. I understand that dating is expensive, that I want a partnership, I want an equal, and what does that mean? That means that equal is that we both fucking participate and put into this. Now, obviously, if the other person is making 10 times your salary and you are struggling, then of course you can express that. Hey, I don't have the financial means to be able to do this. I apologize. But I don't think because a man is a good person, but because he wants to split 50-50 that you should walk away. That doesn't make you feel like a friend because they should also be showing up in other ways to make you feel a lot more reciprocated, loved, and adored. And if the only way that you see it as being a friendship versus romantic is by the financial component, well, then that is something where we have a little bit more work to do to figure out where the fuck did you learn that? Before I offend about half of the population, who do you think should pay on a first date? I'm going to keep it real with you. I'm going to keep it 100%. 
truly believe that the man always should pay on the first date. And I'm going to tell you exactly my reasoning, okay? I'm going to be 100% honest. Women do like a man who can provide and show that they can provide. Of course, they don't have to pay for every single date, literally until the day that we die. But the first date, you're trying to give your best impression. Do you know what I mean? It's trying to, it, you're trying to give a good impression here. Literally due, due to evolution, we want a man who can show that he can go out there and gather us our resources while we're at home caring for the child. You know, that's literally evolution, babe. I think there is nothing more attractive than a man who will be willing to pay. However, if I was the one that asked you on the date, I think 50-50 can be acceptable. I would still be a little bit put off and the most put off if a man asks me on a date and then expects me to pay. Like, you've asked me to be here, you've taken from my time and you're expecting me to pay. Crazy. No thank you, sir. Here's why as a woman you should always offer to pay on the first date. And notice how I say offer to pay, not necessarily pay for the first date. You see, the reason why it's important for you to offer to pay on the first date, it's because it allows you and gives you the opportunity to really see what kind of a man he is, as well as gauge the level of interest that he has in you. You see, you want to know that he paid because he wanted to pay, because that aligns with the type of person that he is, as well as the level of interest that he has in continuing to get to know you. You don't want him to pay only because he felt forced because you wouldn't offer and he wanted to avoid an awkward moment. Let's talk about why I never paid on the first three dates with a man. Now I know I'm gonna get some heat for this and I can already hear the haters now saying, that's sexist, women and men are equal now. It's empowering for a woman to pay for her share of the date. Now, you know what's empowering? Knowing my worth and if a man doesn't think I'm worth a $10 cocktail or a nice dinner out, he is not my man. And this is not about the fact that I couldn't take myself out for a $10 cocktail or a nice dinner. Because ladies, you can make your own cash monies, pay for your own ish, be a boss babe at work and still have a man pay for you on a date because chivalry is just not Look, I am here for all the feminism and women empowerment, but let me just say this. I will not let a man use feminism as an excuse to be cheap and lazy because men who are cheap with their money are cheap with their time, their emotions, and their willingness to give to you on a much bigger level than just their wallet. Ladies, you gotta really ask yourself if you're reaching for your wallet on the first three dates because you feel like it empowers you or if you're reaching for your wallet because you feel guilty and deep down inside, you don't feel like you're worth a man taking you out. And here's what I'm trying to tell you. You are worth it and so much more. You are worth that open bar tab. You are worth that five-star restaurant. You are worth those front row seats. So here's what I would do on the first three dates with a man when the bill came out. I would stare right at him, not even pretending to flinch from my wallet because honey, I know my worth. And if he doesn't, well then at least I got a free dinner out of it. Who should pay for date night? Although the answer to this is very simple because it's always the one who does the invitation who should pay. I know that many women feel uncomfortable when the bill comes and they're just sitting there without doing anything. Because nowadays, you're supposed to show your independence as a woman by pulling out your wallet as well. But here's the problem with that. When the bill comes and you offer to pay half of it, you are basically the one who says that I am willing to accept a relationship that's based on a 50-50 situation. But if you're looking for a masculine man who's able to take the lead in a relationship, he should take you out for dinner and pay for it because it's more a symbolic gesture that shows that he can take on responsibilities. And if you as a woman want to do something back for him because he's been taking you out now for 10, 20 times and he has been paying all this time, then do this. You could organize two tickets for a very nice concert that you know he would like to go or you could organize a private tour in a museum one morning. Or if you know that he likes to play tennis, why don't you book a tennis court for the two of you? And you know what else you can do? You can cook for him one night because every man secretly wishes that he will meet a woman who can make a home cooked meal. And let me give you this tip for the next time a man invites you for dinner. As soon as the bill arrives on the table, you will thank him because like that, you will give him a clear message of what kind of woman you are. And by appreciating him in a sweet and loving way, you will inspire him to take you out again. Please don't do these embarrassing things when the bill comes and you're like fumbling in your wallet or like checking your phone or going to the bathroom in order to avoid the bill or the check. Don't do that stuff. Please have some like self-worth and elegance about it you know what i mean if he is the one which i presume he is because why would you have asked him out he's the one who asked you out he's the one who's invited you to frequent to visit into his world he's asked you on the date 
he's like, hey, beautiful lady, I want to show you, let me show you the world, I'm Aladdin, and I want to show you my world, I want to take you somewhere, and let's see if you like it, because that's what a date should be. If the guy makes this amount of money, he shouldn't be taking you out to a hugely expensive this style restaurant. He should be taking you to a this style restaurant. It can be a Nando's. It can be a McDonald's. I don't care if that's his, where he goes and where he can take you comfortably. That's that's where he should be taking you. The reason you should not pay on the first date is number one, it's it's social norms, it's rules. He's the one who's asked you. He's the one who's asked for your time. He wants to take you out. But number two is because he is showing you his lifestyle. And also, if he does take you out and he takes you somewhere ridiculous and he's all stressed that he can't pay, you need to know what kind of man you're dealing with. You need to know if he's got sense about him or not, how that's going to move forward. All right. So here's my take on this debate. I think a man should always pay for the first date because it also sets a very balance grant for the woman to feel safe it also shows her that you are a good leader and you're a provider so it's important for a man to pay for the first date even the second date in my opinion i think a man should always lead it sets a good um, standard for the woman to see him as a leader i know most women would like to pay for the first date or they will offer to pay on the first date which is also not a bad idea but mm, you want to let the man to take full charge of the first date i hope this video is helpful to you guys please let's continue the conversation in the comment below here's what i think women should do when it comes to offering to split the bill whatever they want to do whatever feels right to them whatever is a genuine decision on their part what I have no respect for is when a girl comes to me, and this has happened so many times, to like talk shit about the guy they went out with. Like they think we're about to be on the same page. And they say something like, girl, let me tell you about this guy I went out with. The whole date was so good until then when we got the check, I offered to split and he accepted. Like now I'll never go out with him again. I'm just like, why did you offer if you didn't want him to accept like what was the point of the offer it was a fake gesture you had bad intentions your intentions were not to split the bill your intentions were to test him let me tell you something there are some men who would absolutely never accept my boyfriend for example would have been insulted if on the first date i offered to split the bill with him however for the most part men are very simple creatures they think very black and white women are more cryptic women read between the lines and they put out these underlying messages to things so they make fake gestures and then they just observe your behavior on how you react whereas the man sees it as oh so nice you offered to split sure why not but he still could have potentially been the kind of guy who would have paid for the whole date you didn't have to necessarily make that gesture but because you did and a lot of men are very simple creatures they might just accept so if your intentions are in the right place and you want to split the bill that's what you feel is right for you go for it but if your intentions are to just like play this game and test people to me that says a whole lot more about you than it does about them and if you don't want to offer if you want to be wined and dined and taken care of then don't and don't do the whole fake rummaging through your purse either don't act like you're about to offer your body language should not change you should still be able to maintain eye contact when they put that check down in front of him all you have to say is thank you so much for dinner it was so nice i really enjoyed it if a girl offers to pay on the first date that's a no like absolute no like the man's supposed to pay at least a bare minimum first date um but if it's like a relationship like i've had ex-girlfriends take me to like for like steakhouses and stuff for like special occasions and super grateful for that but first date no definitely not if the guy that you are dating or going on dates with asks you to chip in or pay your own share or would be hoping that you would actually pay his share of the date it 100 percent means that he is not going to want to spend on you. That is the truth. And this becomes extremely difficult if you really do end up being with him.
spending your life with him and if you potentially end up having kids because you will always brush that 50-50 thing in your face and say things like, oh, but don't you want to show your independence, etc. You don't have to prove your independence to a man. So if the guy asks you to pay on first dates, I actually view that as a red flag. Ultimately, do what you're comfortable with. But rule of thumb, whoever asks who out, they should pay for the date. So if a man asks me out, yes, I do think you should pay for it. That doesn't mean when we go to dinner or lunch or wherever that I won't offer to pay, but I, cause I think that that's good manners. But on the other side, I think it's good manners. If you ask somebody out, it's thoughtful, it's considerate. I'd like somebody to put a little effort into taking me out and trying to get to know me. Now, let me say that doesn't mean it has to be some expensive. Thank place. you so much for watching guys. I hope this video was helpful to you. I'll see you all in my next one. Bye.